What's up guys, right today we've come to the base. Bakey Sam has come along. Alright guys. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a how-to 360. Sam is gonna be the dummy for this one today. So I'm gonna teach him the kind of technique I would use to do a 360. And Sam's gonna give it a good go. And hopefully we get it. And then you guys at home, after watching this, can go out with the boys and hopefully get this trick dialed in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off. Lucky today we've got a resi. So we're gonna give it a go. But let's talk to Sam. Sam, first off, do you need a phone pit to give us a roll first or not really? I can free fine onto boxes, but it's over a box. It's, over a box. It's gonna be something completely new. So you can free, but you're gonna do a clear today. Clear today. Okay. Right guys, this is a perfect scenario here. Sam is gonna give it his best shot, and we're gonna see. I've got 100% faith in him right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie about it. With my teaching, I do love a 360. I know how to go about doing this one. We're gonna get him to try one out. If you guys got a phone pit, give it a go in there. Everything I try and put over to Sam for the resi. But anyway, here we go, guys. What's gonna happen first is Sam's gonna have a couple of testers, okay? All he's gonna do is gonna do a 360 fly out on the quarter pipe over the other side of the skate park, just to get the feel for the spin and see how it goes. So we're gonna film that and see exactly how he does it. Okay. Oh, that was quite nice, Sam. That was, you had a great spin there for a fly out. I was very impressed with that. Oh, that is perfect. Well, guys, Sam is a bit of a dead hander doing these 360 fly outs. I'm not gonna lie. Got a great style there. Style's gonna be something you can work on in the future once you get the trick down. Just try to get that 360 round at first. Start with 180, 270, then you're gonna go straight for the 360. Obviously, Sam's already a bit advanced on this. My favourite bit's gonna be getting him doing it over the box. So I think he's gonna have a couple of crashes here, a few slides out, especially on that resi, because it's slidey. And that is Sam's favourite thing. He loves to crash. Sam, how do you feel so far on that 360? Oh, nice. Yeah? I don't know how it's gonna to relate to being on a box. Just, you know, I think you're gonna do a great job. I think we need to get a little tester out and see how it turns out. I'm just worried about sliding everywhere. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be good. You're gonna be great. Right. Guys, we're gonna get Sam to give it a first attempt. And what I'm gonna do is, while Sam's doing this, I'm gonna talk to you guys through the technique that I'd go about doing this trick as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk Sam through what I think he needs to do. So Sam, what you wanna do is when you take off, remember, get your spin for the three, dip your shoulder a little bit, keep your head turned, and keep it turned, and get try to get enough speed to get over the resin. But it's okay if you hook up. It's nice and mellow, guys. Remember, guys, you haven't got to clear the box first off. So I think because Sam's more advanced, we're going to get him to do it over the whole thing because he's never threw the box before. But what I said before is slow and steady wins the race, so make sure you put your helmet and pads on because you're going to crash. Sam's getting fired up for his first attempt. I've got the camera ready to go. Great camera skills for myself. I'm about to film this. Why, are you ready, Sam? Thank you, Sam. Woo -hoo -hoo! Right, guys. Well, I've got to tell you what, yet again, you ain't let us down with a good crash. Oh, you know. Wow. Right, what happened there, guys, is that he landed a little bit on the back wheel and looped out, but great first attempt, I've got to say. Like I said, I knew he was going to crash that first one, and he pulled it off quite well with the crash. Sam, did that crash out at all? No. I've done a little bit on my ankle, but hey. I can put a pad on. Sam, what are we? Alpha males. We are alpha males. We are top of that pyramid, king of the jungles. Crashes like that do not affect the team, okay guys? So right, do you want me to give you a demonstration yeah. of how I would do it? I'm gonna do it over the normal box, yeah. and then you can pick up a technique, yeah. and maybe add it to yours, yeah? yeah? Right guys, that's my attempt for the 360. Hopefully it looked good. We won't know until we watch it back. Hopefully Sam's picked up a few little tips there. So his 360 looks like that. And hopefully you guys have picked up some tips too. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get Sam another 360 on his resi, and hopefully he gets his next one. How ready are you on a scale of one to 10? Eight and a half. That is it. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That is what we call determination at its best there. He ain't even scared of it. He's just gonna go straight for it. Right, guys, I'm in position. Sam's gonna give it his second attempt here. Let's see how well he does on this. You ready, Sam? Push down. <laughs> guys, there we did. That was guys. That was so close. I can't believe how close he was on that. He just over rotated a little bit, put a little bit too much juice in the canister, and he put he had to put his foot down there. But guys, I think this could be a. What, what do you think, Sam? You think three attempts? 
You think you've got the next one? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think you've got the yeah. next one too. He's going to get straight back up there and go again. I just say, remember, just keep composed. Yep. You ain't got to over push it, all right? But yeah, nice dippage. Get it on here. Straight to the box. Straight to the box. Yeah. See what I mean? He hasn't even done it on the resi yet and he's talking about doing it on the box. You know, that's why he's faking Sam forward slash Sam, the man who can. So anyway, here we go. He's going to go again and hopefully he's going to get a third attempt. Sam's third attempt, here we go. He's got to see it in his eyes. Terry the Tiger, he's had his frosties this morning. Here are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How'd that go then? What happened uh, there? Back wheel slipped. <laughs> it did slip. Yeah. And this is why we say it's very important to be wearing the helmets. Sam smacked his head there a little bit. Not too hard, but just enough to ring the old noggin a little bit. But he had his helmet on, so it saved him. His old bins fell off again. He's quite good at losing the old, the old sunglasses. That was your third attempt, and you crashed it. I know. Right. Guys, what's happening here? He's overjuicing it. Right. He's got the adrenaline rushing. We've all done it before. Even once you learn 360s, you go to a new jump, you think, I've got this. And what happens is you overduce the three, you do a 450, and either that happens or you somehow miraculously ride away. But anyway, how are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling, feeling good? Fine. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Should be able to get this. Yeah. Definitely. Nice. See that, guys? He's motivated. We're going to get him back to the top of the rolling, and hopefully, this fourth one, he's going to pull. What you got to do on the box after this? <laughs> He's full for temps. Here we go. He's got this one, guys. Here, we are. Here we go. He's rolling in. That's it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that was it. I was like, yes, I'm in. That was it. You know, Sam. All I, I can I say just, is, I, I stop. Say stop it. The and shoulder. then stop dipping. Yeah, dip it in and then keep it pushed down. Yeah. Then you roll straight out. We're getting a great crash wheel here. This is fantastic. You know. It's great that Sam's all right, you know. He crashes, I know I have a little laugh, but so I know it's on Resi, and I know he's gonna get straight up and be all right on this, okay? He's getting so close to it right now, I can't wait for him to pull it. So guys, what happened there? Sam did dip the shoulder, but then he leveled out a little bit. That's why he landed back wheel, looped out. What you wanna do is, when you come off the lip, just keep turned in on that shoulder, and when you see that landing, just kind of push it in and go nicely in the down slope, and you pull it just fine. Okay, when you're doing fly out, you haven't got to worry too much about doing that because you can land nice and flat on both wheels. It's all about getting both end wheels nice in that transition on the box jump. This is Sam's fifth attempt ever at doing it over a whole box. Here we go, guys. Push down. Yeah! That's it, Sam. Woo! How was that? How did that feel? Oh, good. That looked fantastic. Cheers. Great work. I've got a question to ask. Did any of my pointers help out? Definitely. As soon as I spotted that landing, I was like... You pushed like, in? Pushed the arm straight into it. Okay. So, anyone watching this video right now is going to be like, wow, Ronnie's a really good teacher on the BMX bikes. Is that true? It's very true. There we go, guys. The proof's in the pudding, as they say, okay? Five attempts at the box and Sam's done that 360. Right. But here's the next one. Do you want to take it to the wood? Or do you want to get a couple more on the resi right now? I think we can go for Okay. Do you want to go to the bottle? Do you want to get a couple I more? I think I'm sliding. It's, I think it's the resi material on the tyres. I'm just sliding. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. You've done it once over the resi ever. And we're not editing this. Oh, you, you all right, big boy? What happened, what happened there? Yeah, look, look what happened there, guys. Just was filming. We had a wildcat come in the background and do a little crash. But I think he's all right. What happened there? Just take, take the old pedal to the old, uh, yeah. the old sternum. Yeah. Yeah? That's how you a whip. Uh, it happens to the best of us. Oh, crashing, everyone's crashing right over the place here. You know? Right. Sam is definitely going to be taking this to the wood, okay? He seems to be fired up. The resi is a little bit slippery, guys. So what he's, what he's going to do is he thinks he's going to grip a little bit better on the wood. I'm not going to lie about it, guys. I hope he doesn't crash like he did on resi on them first few. But like I said, we're not editing any of this footage, okay? These attempts, all there. We ain't taking none out to make Sam look better or worse than he is. So, uh, off to the normal box jump. Sam's just checking out to see if he's going to get the speed. Here we go, though. Oof. 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 Sam's had his test to see how much speed he needs to get from the quarter pipe over the box. I think he's got it dialed in. So, um, here we go. This is going to be his first attempt on the box, guys. Hopefully, he gets his first time because we don't want to be crashing on the old wood here, you know? Yeah. Push down. 
Oh, yeah. Well, he made that look very easy, guys. He did clip a little bit on the top deck. Let's go and speak to Sam real quick, see how he feels about that. How did that feel? That was nice. I'm a bit cut out of the, uh, I pulled up. Just okay. short, but I think next go. Next go, you think you're going to clip the down the whole box? Yeah. Yeah. This is what I mean, guys. If you want to do a nice slow one and get ready and check it out, you can always clip. It's not going to be bad, you know, you're just going to get that front wheel in. It's nice and safe, as long as you're doing a huge box. If you're doing a huge box and you go massive and you clip like that, you could be banging trouble. But on something like this, at your local skate park, when you learn them, it's okay to hook up a little bit. The same is going to clear the whole thing right now. Here we go. Push down. Aha! He's just clipped again there, but a perfect 360 there, guys. Can't fault that 360 at all. Oh, yeah, I lost a bit of speed. On the yeah. pump. Yeah, and it just, yeah, knocked it over that bump, sort of killed it for me. Okay, all right. He did lose a little bit of speed over the old pump, the hump bump over in the corner. Hey, he's a warrior though, guys. He's straight back up and he's going to get this. That's it, Sam. Nice pump. Oh, woo! <laughs> right. That was great though. Do you know a little sideways on that? Yeah. I think okay. I'm, I'm needing an extra crank. Okay. The quarter in the box. Maybe an extra crank before. Maybe then we go a bit higher on the quarter pipe. There we go. And just pump in. So obviously, I can't get that extra crank for the yeah. coaster at the minute. Yeah. See, that, that is one of the problems here, guys. If you run a coaster where you're trying to set up a bit of stuff and you do do the crank, you, you've got that little give like we said in the bike checks, you know, it doesn't engage straight away. So, anyway, Sam's going to try to go a little bit higher on the quarter pipe and see if that gives him enough speed to get over this box jump. Sam's going to hit this with a little bit more speed. He's going to try and pump up the lip a little bit harder. Try and clear over that box. Here we go. The way he's landing flat. Nothing wrong with that. You know, it's because he's got an extra, extra effort in right now, okay? Oh! Well, Sam, that's really good, man. You clips like this much. Sam, you clip that much. He's getting super close at this, guys. I'm really impressed with Fakie Sam right now, you know. Here we go, he's got this one. Nice. No. What's, what's, that, what's happening, Sam? He's getting a little bit of trouble getting the speed in here. Yeah. All right. I just don't, I don't want to, you know, whack at it and just not pull it now. I know what you mean. It's getting that point where I'm like, I'm not going to pull it, so I don't want to. You just got to do it. Yeah, I just want to do it. You know what Joe Wall told me once? There ain't nothing to it but to do it. That's what he said. Right. <laughs> is that a fresh federal tea? Uh, it's a fresh federal tea. He's got freshes in the game here and everything like that. So here we go. I've got a good feeling about this next one, guys. He's going to clear the whole box and land his 360. Oh, here we go. This is a one. Oh, you right, big boy? My bum cheek is dead. Right. <laughs> guys, now, he had enough speed there. What happened? You overrun a tank a little bit then? Yeah, and I didn't. I did stop yeah. the uh, stop dropping the shoulder. Okay. But guys, what a great attempt. He flew over that. He was like Superman. I mean, who knows what his name is out there when he ain't got his normal kit on, you know? Glasses on, it's like Clark Kent Superman. Yeah, 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 he's got the glasses on, Clark Kent. Straight in the Superman. Ba -ba -boom. So this gives him a pep talk, what he did there. He didn't push that front end in, which meant he just landed at that back wheel and looped out again. I've let him know what he done wrong. Let's see if he gets this one. As long as he gets his speed right right now, he's going to do it perfect. Oh! <laughs> Sam, that was it, bro. That was it. That was it. Right, guys. What we call that there is, we call that a dead sailor. He just looped out and hit his bum there a little bit. You all right? Yeah. That was a great crash. Sam, you're getting a you're getting a little reputation for yourself. No, they're gonna have a new name for me soon, aren't they? Do we call him Fakey Sam or Sam underscore crash a lot? You know, what do you think of that? I say if, if we get the Sam crash a lot, I'll change it for a week on Instagram. Okay, nice. That is a deal. Yeah. There we go, guys. We're gonna get that up there on the pole. He's in. He's got nice and smooth. Oh! You alright? <laughs> Did that mess you up? You right, big boy? Bad ankle. Cool. Okay. That's what happened there was, I was in selfie mode, trying to capture the, capture the moment, and Sam and Little Lone went over the old handlebars. Have you, have, have you got your ankle quite bad? 